Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Studio here in Lytham, and I'm going to do a longish drive video between the Cobra King LTD and the Cobra King F6 Plus. Two drivers that came out at a similar time with very different features, but this is a long drive video. That is all it is. It's smash it as hard as I possibly can, see which one goes the furthest. One's going to have three shots, swap over three, swap over three, swap over three. So they'll have six attempts each, and it's got to land on the fairway. The fairway is a strip. Um, you'll see on the sim software, it's probably about, I don't know, 30 yards wide. So it's got to be on the fairway. Um, I'm using the same shaft, which is... Oh, I forgot this in. This is a extra stiff flex. Ozic Matrix Extra Stiff Flex. That's all we need to know. I put it in the same loft. The F6 Plus is adjustable. I'm going to put the weight in the middle and maybe, uh, maybe mess around with that. It's got towering mid and penetrating settings. Um, let's go King LTD first. So I'm going to put this in 9.5 degrees standard. For both drivers, nine and a half degrees, the loft that I generally use. Let's give this a go. So this is one with the space port, the window in the bottom of the head. Apparently it's a very centered CG. If you hit it in the right spot, when I tested it, it's a flying machine. It's just all about hitting it in the right spot. This is a long dry video. I will repeat, there is no science. This is hit it as hard as I can, see which one goes furthest type of technology. Uh, <laughs> Massive big black head. I don't think there's a lot between the two um, cosmetically behind the ball. Anyway, I am digress digressing. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. This is just long drive. It's got to be on the fairway, and it's got to be long. Let's give this a whack. It's a nice big ball flight. Very high off the face. That felt nice. It's not long. Mm, it's not long. That wasn't long for the first hit with the LTD. Now, I have warmed up. I have been prepped and ready to go. I thought it was going to be longer than that. It spun up a lot. 3,300 spin. Um, it kind of... I thought it had gone a little bit higher than, than the average ball flight of this club. But I thought that was just a big, high, long, towering shot, but it wasn't. It was a high, spinny shot. Okay. So that was at 286 total. We will go total yardage. 286. That's a better flight. That's a biggie. It'll be interesting to see how it compares to some of the other long drive videos I've done. That was at 312 better hit. There is some difference with this when you hit it in the sweet spot. And the, and the extra sweet spot. That first one, it wasn't far away, but I lost 30 yards. Okay, it's in the fairway, 312. Last one with the LTD. Now I'll jump back over to the, or I'll jump onto the F6 Plus. That might struggle to stay on the fairway. Is it going to stay or is it going to go? It's gone. It's a Ghana. It's out of there. So 312 is the current score so far. So I'm going to whip the shaft out of this and then right. stick it in the uh, the Cobra. Is it still a King yet? King F6. 9.5 degree again. And at the moment, I'm going to put the weight in the middle to mid just to see. It might then have a little secret weapon in itself at the end. We'll see. We'll see if it needs the secret weapon. So I'm going to put that weight in the middle section. There's uh, five sections. Currently it's in the front. I'm going to put it in the middle. So, 312 to beat. Same shaft, F6 plus this time, same loft. Weight is in the middle of the head. Be interesting to see if there's a lot of a difference or if there's no difference at all. Again, it's got to be on the fairway, three shots, and then we'll go into the final round. The only difference of the head is a slightly glimp, uh, kind of a texture at the back, almost a thinning of the crown, and it's got a white border, white line around the border. But big black head, nevertheless. 312 to beat. 
different noise, like a, what's that? I can't, can't describe the noise. It sounded a bit more like a, a can, like a, a slightly, weirdly, a slightly more hollow sound, even though the King LTD should be the hollow one. I mean, they're both hollow, but the LTD was priding itself on its hollowness. So that was short. Uh, I didn't get the final measurement of that. I think it was about 390, sorry, 290, I think. Similar to the first one with the LTD. Very different noise. That's not going to be on the fairway, or is it? Yes, it is. Okay, this could challenge. 312 is to beat. No, 304. Okay. Um, what's that spinning at? Through a 2400, so actually slightly lower than the LTD Pro. And this is in the mid setting. I'm going to stress again this is just a smash it challenge. <laughs> There's not a load of science behind this. Just hit it as hard as I can, see what happens between the two. That's going to be off the fairway. Okay, so. So, that's a terrible shot. It could have been long as well. That could have been long. So far, King LTD is taking it at a 312. Uh, I'm going to whip the shaft back round. And then we're going to do three each for the final round. Okay, so we're back. 312 is to beat. Can it beat its own score? I think it's actually 311.94 yards to be precise. Not going to be on the golf course, I'm afraid. Oh, sorry about that one. That was a terrible golf shot. Not pleased with that one at all. I was going for to see if it could really smash its own record there, I'll be honest with you. Terrible golf shot, missed strike, horrendous. Okay. Let's get back in the game. That could be good. That could be very good. It didn't feel right in the, the middle of the middle of the middle. It's going to be over 300. No, it's not. Just short of that yardage. Okay. One more for the uh, LTD Pro. 312 is still hanging on there. The best drive so far. Last one. Got nothing to lose on this. Big, high ball fly. That's not going to have the run, I'm afraid. Is it? Is it? <laughs> One yard behind its best. Um, that wasn't far away. It felt just a little bit high off. It kind of had that slight height to it. So 312 is still the score to beat. I'm going to switch back to the F6, and I might see if uh, a slight adjustment on the F6 may just take the title. Okay, so last three shots with the F6 Plus. For this first one, I'm going to keep the weight in the middle. Let's just give it one more chance to catch up. And I might just change that weight in the bottom of the head, see what it can do. That could be good. It's like one of those little slinging chasers. Will it get the 312? I don't think it will. No, I think that's... That, in that setting, I think that's as far as it's going to go. I'm going to put this weight. Let's see if this makes a massive difference. You know, this is one of the biggest differences with these drivers. It's adjustable weight. So I'm going to stick it all the way into the front of the head, which effectively makes it a lower spinning golf club, but slightly less forgiving. Whenever you move that weight closer to the face, off-centered hits punish more, but when you get it in the sweet spot, it reduces that spin. So let's see now if with the weight forward in the penetrating setting, same loft, penetrating setting, can it beat 312? That was as good as I can hit it in that normal setting then, I found. Let's go for this now. Oh, it's left. So that's the issue. I think that's massive. Oh, that would have absolutely destroyed the King LTD on that particular shot. I think it would have done. 
Let's go one more. But that is the risk. That wasn't far away from being good. It's got one last shot. It's got to find fairway. It's got to be long. Last shot. This has got a great chance. This has got a great chance. That's going to blitz it. 312 to beat, 312 to beat. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> 313, that last one was. 313.40. Um, when I said it blitzed it, I was not exaggerating that. I blitzed it by a good 1.4 yards. Um, very interesting. Bear in mind, and I've stressed it already, this is a fun challenge. It's a fun longest drive challenge. There's no real evidence. It's just let's see how far they can go. Same shaft, same loft, but with the King uh, F6 Plus adjustable weight, that gave it the advantage. In the mid setting, that wasn't getting closer. That wasn't getting to the King LTD. Put the weight forward, the first one, with the weight forward, the second shot out of the three, was enormous, but it didn't hit the fairway. That last one hit the fairway and it went longer, just a different ball flight, even though the lofts were the same with the same shaft. Interesting, interesting uh, little challenge. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, I love doing these videos. I think it's a real fun way of uh, just giving a ball a smash. Everyone loves hitting the ball hard and seeing how far it goes. Guys, thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, just a very quick difference. The reason why I felt like that one went slightly longer is the spin rate dropped to about 2.5 to 2.4, where this one was still in the 2.5 to 3,000 spin rate. Uh, that's why I feel like it went a bit further. When I get it down to, to like 2,000 spin rate, that's when the distance really goes long. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Do subscribe. And the next challenge is coming up very, very soon. I'm going to get the... Uh, stay tuned. Next challenge is coming next. Thanks for watching and uh, well done the, uh, the Cobra drivers, I suppose. <laughs> done.